fastball. This is the direction the plane came in. So, I had no plane crash on Ketron Island. Apparently, a 76 passenger plane got hijacked at SeaTac and either crashed or was shot down over on Ketron Island. We got three engines, a crash truck, a rescue medic unit, and a tender on Silicon Ferry heading to Ketron to see what we got. Uh, reports are fire south end of the island, middle of the island, starting to get bigger. According to the RAP, there's 550 pounds of fuel on board. Apparently, it's not much for an aircraft. There is some magnesium built into it, the struts, and the wheels, so that might be an issue. Um, we made it around the curve and just keep going south. Okay. We just made the curve. Oh, shit. On Ketron Island, approaching the grass side. Fire's reported about 100 yards south of our location, about 75 yards by 50 yards wide. I need you to send a crew out, crew of two, just to do a recon, see if we can find access. This is the trail right here, just so you know. You ought to, you ought to see something impressive? You should see the trees. Yeah. Oh, there's a path. I don't think this fire is going to... The fire's not going to spread, you think? Slowly, unless we get wind. That's going to get ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, if not windy, this would have been a big issue. <laughs> so I don't, you know, it, 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 it's kind of a disaster as far as. I'm sure you can imagine it went through the trees, so... Uh, I guess I'm just trying to figure out what's the priority, because it's 
Man, I don't want to uh, play that disorder. Um, if we got any piece with the uh, actual, maybe on the N four four nine U.S. scale number. Oh, eventually. Yeah. You think they'll uh, be something identifiable from the pilot? I would think so. Here's the, the cap that's just... I don't know if I'm helping you. Like Judy Cooper? So there's a big chunk of wing and... So, about where that log is over there? Yes, sir. Okay. About a hundred feet that way, you see the wrap three times. Are we okay to uh, extract that? Yeah, we're going to have County 430. Yeah. 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 You know which direction. The corner's it's over back here. back this direction. We wrapped uh, caution tape around the tree that's right next to well, This is kind of the, the view that's humbling. Oh, the power of an airplane. And that's, so the issues right now, so there's this tree that's going to fall. This tree is definitely going to drop. Yeah, that one's burning yeah. through. So this, be looking up as you're walking through. Yeah, so who starts through this? NTSB? That tree's gonna go. <coughs> this one, yeah. Fortunately, it's going that way. In theory. So it doesn't. So where's that tree there? That, that one route that has the... Oh, that's for the flight recorder. Okay. I'm concerned about that. That's for the tree. Back. Sort of. It's gonna drop. Not like a cut tree, but it's, it's gonna it's gonna push. I don't know. There's second GFA. Okay. Where's it at? Right, right at that tree. Okay. Uh, yeah. Find out if they want you to grab it, and then. Yeah, it's most of the breeze is out of the north. Okay. That they have to physically take the rest of it? Yeah, so the FBI. So we'll just kind of there, check it on. in place the best we can. So we have approval to flight it, correct? All right, we were told to get it. Uh, man, be hasty going past that tree, would you? That's that's a problem. And now we got wind out of the south. Here, I got a camera. Hurry up. No, I mean, like, hurry up. Let me get up there with you. Oh, you want to be in 
picture? No. We're worried about that tree. That tree's gonna go soon. Uh, and probably in ugly fashion. You guys just need to eat the smoke yeah, this way. way. Eat the yeah, smoke this way. way. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them. Follow me. 
just eat the smoke and it's not kill anybody. Unfortunately, if it wasn't leaned against that other one, you know, it would have dropped, but now it's going to want to pile right back. Hey, we're, we're bugging. We'll, we'll knock some of this down and send you right back in. That's the guy I got a picture, I got a Is Curtis getting drawn into it too? See, just like a bug zapper. Bud light?
enough Uh, he's gonna send us water. Yeah. We're down to a thousand gallons of water. Is, it, is he gonna charge this thing? edge right right there is what I was hoping to right yeah so I've I've reconned all of that um there's two of them but yeah there's the one that's gonna it's gonna come pile driving no it's lean it's stuck in a big old fur 
so it's going to come back first, unfortunately. What? Yeah, I need water. He nope. said he was going to charge it. That's what I was trying to Yeah, charge it.
Smells like airplane fuel. What? Smells like airplane fuel. Pure diesel. DNR airdrop? They don't do it at night. They don't? No. Uh, well. Curtis, we got the guys to lay a line in if we... No. Well, yeah. I think we got machetes on the rig. Alright. How big a field are we looking at there? I don't know. I was thinking about cutting around this side. We got a look for you. So you're okay with that? Yep. I'm gonna go around the other side. Yep. Let me know if you see an issue. I don't. No. Uh, you want to take Johnson with you? Curtis, are you gonna take Johnson? Jared? One fifty. Hundred and fifty, Curtis. One fifty yards in. Making my way to the south end. Seems like we have a, a northern breeze that's kind of pushing it south toward the water. Uh, a couple chainsaws would be really helpful. 
for some of the windfall. Yeah, it'll be a couple minutes. It'll be, it's a, 
front of all vehicles with your back out. Command for 22 third. 22 third. There's going to be an issue with deadfall along the fire line. Uh, looks like when the plane came in west or east to west, it clipped a lot of trees. Uh, so there's several that are getting ready to fall. And that's going to be on the trail. Yeah, along the eastern edge of the fire. Hey, Curtis, there's several trees leaning that way, these ones that are on fire. These trees that are on fire, they're going to fall at some point, and most of them are leaning your way. This is a, the direction the plane came in, so just be aware, you got several, several leaners. I'm going to go see if I can meet 24. Fire's reported about 100 yards south of our location, about 75 yards by 50 yards wide. I need you to send a crew out, crew of two, just to do a recon, see if we can find access. Yeah, Jay, can you just walk this ground here? Can we drive through there? No. no. Hi, Tim LaRue from West Pierce Fire. How are you, Don? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. We're over here on Ketron trying to find this plane crash. Um, yeah. We got units here, and we got, a, we got a crew out on foot going through heavy brush trying to get okay. there. Um, According to the pilots, about 150 to 200 yards off the road. Uh, so they're making their way there now. They said they're about halfway there. Okay. Uh, I'll know more in a few minutes, hopefully. And if we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. Um, do I understand so your you, res your resources don't fly at night, correct? No, we do not fly okay. at night. All right. Yeah. Um, so here's here's a thought for you. Okay. Um, figure out what you got going on. Um, Really, you know, with all the hazmat potential and stuff that's out there right now, I mean, we're not equipped to deal with any of that stuff. Okay, according, um, according to Alaska Airlines, there's no hazmat on the plane other than there's some uh, aluminum parts and uh, stuff like that, but there's no, nothing being carried on this plane. Five, oh, sure. 500 pounds of fuel. Well, right, and that's my point, yeah. is that even the fuel and the, and the structure of the plane burning, yeah. we're not going to even get close to that. Okay. You know. So I guess point B is is that I mean we're obviously willing to help, but right now from a risk management standpoint, I yep. can't see us being any good out there. No, I, I appreciate the phone call. Uh, yeah. And if we need something else, uh, come daylight, uh, yep. we'll be obviously call you right back. Yep, that's exactly right. In fact, if, if I can give you the phone number to Nancy Barker, who's the fire manager for that area. Sure. All right. All right. We got thanks it. Thanks a lot. And thanks, Don. Okay.
Okay, you take care. Right. You take care. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye. Oh, my God. Any idea how long that helicopter can stay airborne? I guess it's a new helicopter. Everything in front of you and to the right up to the cattails is fine. But then it drops off at them cattails. Okay. Behind you is pretty bumpy, and then it dies off at that scrub brush. The the crash truck's like, well, we got four wheel drive, we can drive right through there. I just want to be careful, oh, careful not, the high grass. And, not the engines. Yeah. I wouldn't put the engines there. Anyway. No, I'm just thinking if we need to get by you to do some kind of shuttle, would that work? Because I'm more likely going to put you right here if we're going to go in the same way this went in. Mm -hmm. uh, probably start stretching hose from you. There looks like there's a trail back that way. Okay. I don't know if it, if you can actually see the fire from back where we were at. Yeah. Command information to 200 to 250 yards. We see 200 to 250 yards. Can you go on foot starting at the crash truck here and you work your way back toward the west? Apparently there's a trail somewhere back there for impeding. I think there's 24 to recall on the west for a trail. Command information 22. The path we took in is flagged with scene tape. There's a large chunk of wreckage at the north end of the site. Copy is marked with scene tape. Large chunk of the north end. Do you uh, concur that we should start making our way down the way you went with some of those lines? Affirmative, unless the uh, alternative route is found that's easier. I'm going to need a lot of info for you for the rest of that form. Okay. So uh, we need to hook up. Okay. Do you want to maybe hook up a uh, couple guys together? Today, battalion 101. Battalion 101. I got a call from our dispatch saying that the Thurston County deputies are set up on the east side of the island or just offshore at the east side. They have pumps available and can kind of assist with the firefighter. Yeah, I believe it's going to be too far inland to do any shore type operations. Well, we got several thousand gallons here um, in tankers and engines. So have them stand by for out now until uh, I get a, another report and see how we can make access to this. It's right in the middle of a heavy brush. So, so there's a trail down okay. here. So we do you know where it's at? Yeah. So I don't okay. know where it goes. Okay. So and the brush is pretty quicker. So we can pull one of my guys with okay. one of your guys and see if the Pierce two can walk them in that okay. way. Okay. These guys right they're walking down right now, they're going to that trail. I'm gonna try okay. to find I'll, that trail. I'll direct them down to that way. Perfect. Okay. And I'll get have some way we have right. Perfect. Right. Perfect. And I'll grab my computer and come back Perfect. and think about this. Okay. So I'm making my way to the south end. Seems like we have a northern breeze that's kind of pushing us out toward the water. Uh, a couple chainsaws would be really helpful for some of the windfall. Let me see. We're just trying to get our access point first before we start cutting a bunch. We might have a trail, uh, but I understand your request. It kind of looks like maybe the main portion of the wreckage. It's probably on the side of this fire. It's probably about 100 yards long to the south. I don't know how wide. Well, mainly just spot fires at the south end from where the wreckage landed. Let me see. Do you figure one hose line can handle this? I would say one hose line to keep it from going east or west. And maybe let it burn south to the cliff. Let me see. What kind of distance are we talking about? I don't know. I can figure that out. Uh, it'll probably be 600 feet to the fire, another 300 feet to get to the nose of the fire at the south end. Let me see. It's on an access trail that's wide open that goes back to the north. I'm going to run out of back and see how far back it goes before they start stretching the hose line. Three seas, I'm in a large debris field to the north of the site here now. Engine 22, sir. Engine 24 is making their way down that trail. If you guys need up, let me know. Three seas, this one's at the crash site uh, where the majority of the debris field is. Three seas. Engine 24 from command. Engine 24. Have you found the trailhead yet? We're walking along the trail. It's uh, an abandoned road. road. We can now see the crash site with the flames. I'm sending you a picture now. Let me see. What engine was that by where you made access? I would say, aside from one debris pile, we can almost drive this road. Let me see. I'll let you make that determination. Would the crash truck be best or something smaller? Crash truck would be best for the magnitude of the fire, something smaller for the one hanging branches. I'm going to reevaluate him one of the residents here. He says he lives in this area. He, he was very familiar with the um, water thing, and he also has a backhoe in his room to clear off a road that goes down that way. Appreciate it. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and send him up? Copy that. It'll be a couple minutes. He'll be 
Just a full on to fire all the vehicles with his back up. Did the other uh, Alaska Air guy go down with them? Did you see if he went down the trail with them? I don't. I, don't, I didn't see him go down. Okay. okay. He should be probably in a patrol car. Command from Agent 22. Agent 22. Do you have anybody from the federal teams area? Federal team. Negative. Please believe we've located the flight recorder. We're going to mark it. Received. Can you give me an idea on the resource needs we're going to have for this? We need to get some more people in the island. It's a spread out easily, 150 by 150 yards. Uh, heavy burning in spot, bouldering it up. We're going to need everyone we got here more. Received. Fire comes, Petron command. What are we going to call it? Petron fire? Yep. Go ahead and send me a second alarm commercial to the still ferry dock. Have your second alarm commercial to the ferry dock. Give me a plane crash second alarm to the ferry dock. And also add oh, yeah, I one tender and two brush trucks. That trailhead is Crazy. perfect. We could, Good. Sorry, we could no. fill up the hole. We could get the, the crash in there. there. All we need to do is clear one debris pile and cut down one fallen tree. And get out of the way. Why don't you work on that? Okay. And this this road loops around, so if we it's quicker to loop around and come back. Okay. Or how far back is it? Right. It's behind our last part rig right there. Third, okay. Third rig back right behind. We'll that. loop around. Okay. And, and everybody should be in wildland gear. Wildland gear. Just as a reminder, I do have that uh, local resident that should be in route with his backhoe, and he said he can make easy work of that. We see. As soon as we'll see him, we'll put him over. Evacuated just notified just notify residents. Give me a new alarm. Just give me a first alarm commercial. Four engines. I don't need a ladder. So let's make it a special call. Four engines, two brush trucks. We're feeling pretty useless. Would you like us to go step okay. up our engine and medication? Okay. That should be a safe approach to the north and the west. There are many large trees that are half broken and dangerous at this point. Is there room to turn around down there for uh, big rigs? Yeah. We're working on a turnaround spot right now with the uh, tobacco operator. Is there anything I can do? or? Yeah, you can go down there. You can be my safety down there if you would. Okay. That work for you? Yeah. All right. We are uh, positioning the rigs. Rush truck left out of the way. Cash truck is prepared to place the edge of fire. We could really use some rehab supplies for Engine 22's crew. Medic 22's on their way. They should be there any second. We'll and I'll have them report to you. So all our resources are deployed, right? All West Pierce's? No, all the ones that were on the island. So we've got... 22 down there, 22. 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22 setting down there. we got Engine... 22, North Division from 22, 30. Yes, rest everybody's rest the same. And staying with East Division, uh, our brush pillars are staged over here uh, behind the tender. 3C4 on our way down the hill to you. Yeah, I'm unable to reach the time, uh, brush 51 or brush 17. Could you try to get the ETA on them, please? No, we got the. Uh, I'm from standby, right? Take a picture of it all down there. Pull it on a smartphone. You got it on a smartphone? No, I don't. I think it's on the way back. Okay. But this is, a, this is a patch, the housing is all ripped open, and then That's I, all cut the right, I cut right here. All right, I'm going to take a picture of this. Um, North Division for command. Yeah, we looked around it, but it got to the point where it's too dangerous. Sure. Okay. You see the... Uh, is your plan to stretch those lines to your side also, or we are we just going to work with the one of those lines? They, okay. Yeah, we don't want any civilians down there, so... Yeah, they're coming down now. Okay. We want to get a big picture of them. Yeah. yeah. We need a hose line off of here. We'll take it to Okay, I'm going to send you a rescue 104. We'll be working for you to assist with getting that hose line. Evidence. So evidence control. I know. So. Rescue 104. FBI is on scene. Oh, where are they at? I got you. I got you. No, 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 no. They're still coming. So. Oh, they're on their way? Yeah. They're still I got you. 103 fire will come. They're not coming over, I don't Well, they will eventually. This is Battalion 3, go ahead. Brush 51, at Union, and the Tacoma Brush Unit is two minutes out. Over there? Um, Copy, two minutes out for the other. Yeah, I just made contact with Brush 51. Oh, um, I'm sorry to keep bugging you. I'm going to head down in safety. Oh, okay. Could you let them know that way they know yep. I'm not just walking <laughs> no, around? No, absolutely. No, no. So 
Yeah. Or the parking plan, we've got a bunch of FBI coming over, yeah. that kind of stuff. Just enough to get vehicles in. Yeah, the ferry is now loaded with all fire oil on a couple of uh, patrol cars, and they'll be able to shut off here in just a couple minutes. I understand that. I believe FBI is there also. Is that correct? Uh, you were slightly garbled if you said PIO. Yes, PIO. It will be on this trip. Uh, negative. I said FBI. Are they there with you? That's correct. The FBI will be on this trip as well. Received. Uh, we're also trying to work with the ferry to get a load of residents over on the Anderson side. Once we do this load, can we uh, work that in? Affirmative. I have no idea what units are on the way over. And 103, can you give me a rundown on the units that are on the ferry? If you have it, not like you're fire code. No, I got it. You've got a brush 51, brush 17, brush 102, engine 20, engine 23, Tacoma engine 7, engine 61 from fire. I'm going to make you my liaison on the ferry. I'll contact you by phone. Um, it's very tight here, so we're going to have to have some discipline for all the vehicles to make this thing work. We requested six units. We're actually getting seven. They gave us an extra brush truck, according to his count. So we've got three brush trucks coming, four engine companies, okay. two of which are ours. And people uh, from the uh, company here, they're wanting to know if they can go in. Negative. They weren't given clearance, and PD is requesting they returned out here. Thank you. It's a crime scene. Confirm you still have the uh, last arrest check back to there. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose is down there. Uh, we didn't ask for them to go down, so PD wants them to return out here. We see they're coming your way now. Also, for all units on the crash site, so understand this is a crime scene, so don't move anything. If you have to, take a picture or something uh, for documentation. Uh, we're looking right now, our, our operation is just prevent the spread of the fire um, into the heavy brush. Um, we'll worry about mop up uh, when it gets light out. And Rescue 104 is back with two. We've uh, cleared the trail even further coming back. Okay. You guys got some rehab stuff? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Just saying, uh, if you're in, we can always walk vehicles through if you need them further up there, sir. Uh, you think it's worth it to get them in there? No. It looked pretty rough getting through there. That's what I mean. I don't want to get someone stuck in the middle and have a... If we have the brush trucks come in... Yeah, the brush trucks, the absolutely. Yeah. If you have another crash truck, sure, maybe, but not... I've got three brush trucks coming. The engine's not going to do any good up there. Okay, perfect. Appreciate it. They're concerned about the flight recorder getting wet. We're down to a 1,000 gallons of water between what bridge we have on site here. We could use some more water. Okay, we're going to have to wait for resources. And understand we're just hitting the edges here, uh, trying to prevent the further spread of this. We're not hitting the big spots in the middle. That's appropriate. We're just throwing up a long line between burn and unburn. You see, I would suggest uh, using the uh, crash truck. If the tender's the one being deployed, using the crash truck as a shuttle uh, to come out back to the road and get filled up. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good, Drew Sager with uh, Rescue 104. Yep. Hey, um, I'm really familiar with the uh, crash and the uh, tender. Okay. Um, the tender can get in and out of here pretty easily. We could always shuttle off the engines and okay. they've got water to go back and forth, and that'll, that'll run the crash truck a lot longer. And they don't wait I, think they I think they deployed off the, the tender. You can yeah, swap well, over. I'm yeah. just saying, but that, that uh, crash truck drains a lot of water real fast. Okay. So, I mean, if they're going to be out of water in five minutes, yeah. They can always service off of our... Yeah, that, that's the plan. Is okay, cool. have them run back so you think the tender coming back and forth would be easier? You're not going to get an engine in there. I no, no, no. Of course it's a crash. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think crash is... is Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, very little mobility. Standard board, you currently have cruise engine 24 running a saw in the north, cruise engine 22 running a hand line off of tender 102. We have 375 gallons left. No further needs. Copy that. You got a crew working saws, another crew working the hand line. 350 gallons left. Yeah, we're working on a shuttle plan. Break. East Division from command. East Division, yeah. Yeah, talking with some of the JBLM guys out here at the command post, they said the tender would be a better shuttle operation versus the crash truck. Um, is that possible to switch over to the crash truck to be your supply down there and have the tender run back and forth. The crash truck, at accurate time, get us trail. We're going to send the tender back down for water. Currently, the crash truck has 1,500 gallons. We've hooked up uh, 
forestry line to the discharge force on the front of the crash truck, using it as an engine for the air. Perfect. That sounds like a great plan. 